Every day, thousands of tons of fertilizers are produced worldwide, in the majority of cases, in plants built by Uda. Over the last few years, the company has received a dozen large-scale orders, mainly from clients in the Middle East and North Africa. Uda is the world market leader in this field. Here, for the first time, Uda supplied a technological masterpiece, the world's largest single-line ammonia plant, utilizing the new Uda dual pressure process. With it, Safco, the client in Saudi Arabia, produces more than 3,300 metric tons of ammonia a day, and this process has considerably greater potential. The Uda dual pressure ammonia process works with conventional and tried and tested techniques. Two synthesis methods are connected in one production line. Every modern ammonia plant has the provisions for this. In the compressor house, the synthesis gas compressor operates at two pressure levels. One housing generates 110 bar, the other 210 bar. At a pressure of 110 bar, the synthesis gas flows to a single three-bed converter in which a third of the ammonia quantity is produced in a single cycle. After the ammonia produced in this way has been separated, the pressure of the synthesis gas in the second compressor housing is raised to 210 bar. This is used by the standard synthesis loop with a two-converter design for the production of the other two-thirds of the capacity. The next jumbo project with similar dimensions is currently being executed for the joint venture involving the Saudi Arabian Mining Company and the Saudi Arabian Basic Industries Corporation. But Uda is still receiving large-scale orders for conventionally sized fertilizer plants. Sorfat in Algeria, for example, has invested some two billion US dollars in two ammonia plants, each with the capacity to produce 2,200 tons of fertilizer a day. Uda, the undisputed world leader in this field.